Welcome to another edition of Wednesday Sense Day. I'm Matt Tidcom. It's been a busy week for the Belleville Senators. They've played three times in the past seven days. It started with a 4-3 win over the Binghamton Devils last Wednesday before they fell 4-2 to the Rochester Americans on Friday. But it was on Saturday, on Remembrance Day, where Jordan Murray made history as he became the first Senator to score a hat-trick for the team, albeit technically 24 hours later, in a 5-4 overtime win over the Rochester Americans. We caught up with Jordan earlier today to discuss that first franchise hat-trick. Alright George, just first of all, just kind of what was that feeling like to get that, that first hat-trick in Belleville Senators history? Um, honestly, it was really humbling. Um, First hat trick of my career too, so that was, uh, that was a really neat feeling. And to have my parents in the stands here was, uh, was pretty special. So yeah, it was, uh, it was a really cool feeling. Uh, after the game Saturday night, you only were credited with two goals. It wasn't until 24 hours later that they finally gave you the third goal. Just kind of, how did you find out, and what was that like? Um, I found out actually through the, the Instagram account that they finally gave me the, the third goal. But uh, uh, we all knew that, that I had the three. Um, Max McCormick said he didn't, he didn't touch that first one, so uh, in the dressing room we all knew that. Uh, on the back end, you're currently playing with McCoy your camp. So kind of what is it like to play with McCoy and how's that chemistry between you guys? Uh, it's really good. We're actually really good buddies off the ice too, so we get along great. And uh, we don't have a, have a problem telling each other if, uh, if we want the puck or if we don't want the puck in certain situations. So I think uh, right now we're playing really well together and uh, hopefully we can keep it up. Obviously you're known as an offensive defenseman. Just kind of what is it like to be racking up points as you currently are in the NHL? Um, you know, that's, it's my job, right? So uh, that's the reason they brought me in here to Belleville is to uh, Offensively, so I'm just trying to go out there and do my job, and uh, right now it's working. Perfect, thanks very much, appreciate it. Thank you. On the transaction side of things, the Ottawa Senators reassigned defenseman Ben Harper, as well as forwards Nick Paul and Jack Rodewell, back to Belleville. And we caught up with Jack as he returns from his first stint in the NHL. All right, Jack, just first of all, just kind of what was your experience like with the Ottawa Senators? Uh, it was awesome, it was my first time playing in the National Hockey League, and it's obviously a dream come true, and you know, I had a lot of fun with it. And, uh, it was a crazy few weeks, gotta go to Sweden, gotta you know, go over to Europe and see those other world in a short time. So uh, it was a lot of fun and great experience and you know, I'm happy to be back. What were some of the things you learned from Well uh, just seeing the guys that are at the top level, how they you know take care of their body every day, how they're working, how hard they work, how focused they are on uh, the games and whatnot. So you know uh, that's obviously what it's like down here too, us trying to get up to that level, but uh, just seeing how they're how they work every day and our professionals up there was a nice uh, uh, you touched on it there in terms of getting that back up there. Kind of how you know excited are you to get that opportunity to go back up as soon as possible again? Yeah, I mean I'm, I'm down here now. I'm gonna work hard down here. I'm gonna uh, get back to how I was playing before I went up, and uh, you know I'm just trying to contribute down here as much as possible, offensively, and defensively, and you know what, uh, if I do those things, I'll play another round. Uh, your journey is quite well documented. Undrafted, you have to go from the ECHL to get a deal, the AHL to get a deal, and you signed an AHL deal, and a day later you went to Ottawa. Just kind of what is that all like for you? I mean, it's crazy. I mean, it's uh, uh, you know, it's difficult. Um, the journey that I had to go through um, was a lot of hard work, and you know, sometimes you're doubting yourself when you're down in the ECHL and you don't really know where where your hockey career is heading. But you know, it's uh, a lot of just uh, persistency and uh, hard work, and you know, those last few weeks kind of it all paid off. Um, just getting to you know your dream come true, going up the National Hockey League, but uh, you know, the work's not done. There's still, uh, still still more work to do, and still. Uh, Great, thanks Jack, appreciate this. Alright, thank you. The Senators will spend the next two weeks on the road as they will face Utica as well as facing Charlotte twice and Toronto twice before they return to the Yardman Arena to face the Lavelle Rocket on November 29th. Tickets for that game and games into December are available at www.bellevillesense.com. I'm Matt Tidcombe and we'll see you next time on Wednesday Sense Day.